In this video we'll take a look at using line comments and block comments within our code. To begin with I'll open up the previous project from the previous lesson called variables. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And if you don't get the command line interface here for us to work with, or our code interface here for us to work with, you can always come over here to program.cs, double click it and it should open up our code for us to work with. Now one other thing I want to point out is if you look here in our Solution Explorer, if you want this, if you need more room to work with, you can hit this uh, push pin here and that's going to actually auto hide it and we can hit the push pin here for the properties as well and that will auto hide the properties and so what we can do is hover over this and you'll see that it pops back out for us when we need it. So this might give you a little bit more room to work with depending on your screen size resolution. So let's go ahead and begin with our first line comment. I'm going to come up here to where it says int min population equals 100,000 and I'm just going to go ahead and click after my semicolon. So that's the end of my statement. I'm just going to space over and put two forward slashes. You'll notice when you put two forward slashes it will turn green. Basically what this is going to tell us is everything to the right of my forward slashes is going to be treated basically by the program as just nothing nothing to do with the program. So it's going to be discarded as information. So I can actually write whatever kind of information I want to the right here for us. So let's just go ahead and we'll start off by writing what the value of a maximum integer is. So for this case I'm going to go ahead and just write in the maximum value of an integer is, and this is going to be 2,147,483,647. So that's the maximum value that I can actually hold in this integer variable. And I'm going to go ahead and put one more line comment on my second one, and we're going to put the minimum value here. So I'll start off with two forward slashes. I'm going to go ahead and just say the minimum value of an integer is, and this is going to be a negative number. I can use negative numbers for integers. So I'm going to go ahead and say negative 2,147,483,648. And so the difference here between this one number is because we have a zero as a number to be able to be used for our integers. And so these are called line comments. I can add those throughout my code wherever I want to write some kind of comment or some kind of reminder for some information to look back at later on. And so basically every line of code you can write, you can just add the two double forward slashes and then write a comment after that that will not be treated as code. Now the other option that we have here is an actual block comment, which means we can block a whole section of code out. And so we're going to do that for this byte section right here. This is very helpful if you've got a section of code that you are testing or may want to remove but want to see the effects of it on your program. So we're going to actually look at all four, five of these lines of code and we're going to actually remove them from my program by commenting them out or making them all comments rather than actual lines of code. To start with, I'm going to go ahead and click where it says byte. I'm going to space down one. And we're going to start our block comment by typing in the forward slash and then the asterisk. You'll notice from this point on everything turns green. Right now everything is being treated as a comment because it can't find the end of my block comment. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click after my last console write line for this block of code and space down and we're going to actually end this by putting in the asterisk and then a forward slash. And you'll notice that ends my block of code. So there's the block of code that I've got here. This is all in green, meaning this is all going to be a comment that's not used. So the code still sits here. Unfortunately, it's not used in my programming logic or in my programming code or statements for code at all. So this is very helpful to block out or comment out lines of code. It's also helpful if you want to write comments that are in paragraph form. Maybe you have a lot of information to write uh, for the introduction or headers of programs, uh, information that you want to write about people or just any kind of comments that you have for the program. So block comments are, can be very useful as well as line comments. And this ends the video on block and line comments within C-sharp programming.